Okay, so this is my 2006 Accord, and uh, it has 164,591 kilometers on it. And the engine light is on. And with my little code reader here, we see it is a PO141. And that means we need a new oxygen sensor. And this is what I'm putting on there on my car. It's a Denso oxygen sensor. And the reason I went with a Denso is because I initially had ordered a Bosch one because they are the leaders in oxygen sensors. And the interesting thing is that for some reason it was not deliverable to me. So I went to the Bosch, the site on Amazon where I bought it, and I went to the one star ratings and started reading up as to why somebody would give it one star. And this one fellow was on there and he said that for the Honda 2006, or basically Hondas, only the Denso will work properly. That is what they're designed for. So it was a good thing that the other oxygen sensor didn't appear because uh, I ended up ordering this one instead and be doing this replacement instead of using a Bosch. So for what it's worth, if you have a Honda, apparently this is what you're supposed to use. And now I'll get on with the job of doing that. Okay, so this is a downstream sensor. I already replaced the upstream one a couple of years ago just because I wanted to see if it get better fuel economy. So I know it's the downstream one that it's replacing. And on another video, uh, it was quite well done by a fellow. He had a 2006 Accord as well. But on his video, it didn't show, and I'll I'll get a picture of this later on, but there's this cover over top of this steel piece here, and uh, I had to figure out how to pry that rascal off. I actually unbolted it. There's a bracket here that has two screws holding it in place, and I unbolted it so I could get at where the, the plug goes. And uh, I already have removed the uh, one part of the plug that goes to the sensor, and the other clip is further down there, as you can see. And uh, I have to re get this through the floor from the top, push through this uh, piece here, and uh, get the, the cord down below where the sensor is so I can undo it underneath. And I'll show this assembled later on. Okay, so there's the uh, O2 sensor on the cat, or behind the cat, whatever it is, wherever it is. And... Uh, and there's where it goes up into the car, and I pushed it through the floor already. So all i got to do is remove the clips uh, holding it in place along the underside of the car here. And i got it all jacked up on jack stands at the back, and the front is up on ramps. So that's how we get started doing something like this. And about the only other tool besides maybe a screwdriver to get those clips off or whatever is this tool here for removing the O2 sensor, putting the new one back on. So here's the old uh, oxygen sensor and cable placed alongside the new one. And I'm just going to uh, switch over these clips onto the new cable and screw it into the uh, place where it goes and then put the wiring back into the car. Okay, so what I ended up doing here, I could not move these uh, plus rubber uh, grommets over to the new cable, so I just took some rubber silicone cement and uh, each place where the clip was, I attached the clip with silicone rubber cement to the new cable. And that let that set up just a bit before I put it in place on the car. And I usually put some never sees on the threads of whatever I'm working on, but I see some has already been put on here from the factory, so I don't have to do that. 
And once that sets up, maybe for an hour or so, I'll screw that thing into position, get the clips in place underneath, and then the rubber cement can uh, set to what it will be for many years to come, probably, helving it in place. Okay, so I've got the uh, new sensor in place. The clips are holding it in there. And I'm gonna wait for this uh, bit of silicone here to harden up a little bit harder before I put it in to the clip that's holding it. will hold it, that's that one right there. So anyways, you see, you just put this other end of the sensor back up into the interior of the car and put it through like that. And then uh, we will uh, push it down from the top and get it in place and put this in place as well. And all will be secure under the car uh, for the sensor that we have replaced. Okay, the only thing to do now is to put this, I uh, put the cable back in, the carpet back in place. And you want to, I need to put this little cover back on here. There's a tab there and a tab there that goes in at the top. So this goes underneath here. And I can, let's see, feel it hook in place. And the one tab on top goes there. The other one, let's see, where are you? Right there. Sit down. And the other one is right around here. Press it down. And everything is back where it should be again. All in place. And should be able to start the car up. And the new sensor should take away that code. And the little engine light. Okay. Cleared the code. The engine light is off. And we'll just do a test of this drive in a few days. So make sure everything's good well, that's it basically no more engine light got the new o2 sensor installed